Hi, I'm Leo Valovirta, and this one is about Marshall JVM 205H and how it compares to 1987X Plexi JZM 2000 TSL 100 and JZM 800 2203. First, let's listen to a song I wrote specifically for this video, and I will use obviously the JVM on that one. Yeah, JVM 205H, it's a Marshall, you know, <laughs> can't go wrong. First, the signal chain, Tokai, Les Paul, standard with Seymour Duncan custom and 59 pickups. Then into my pedal board, where I used SD1 on the song and now, and in the middle part, there was also a phaser. Then the signal goes to KHE Audio's amp switcher, then into several amps. <laughs> we're gonna compare a little bit to see how this holds up with um, you know a few classics. 
back to gay he then into sand rocks react ir reactive load where i'm using my signature ir valo virtuos from jens bugrens lead and clean pack then it goes to steinberg's ur816c audio interface and then into cubes where i'm recording the guitar <laughs> Like that. So yeah, this is a 50 watt tube amplifier with uh, several channels, you know, EL34s, ECC83, 12AX7 preamp tubes, the usual one Marshall uses. There's two, two channels and each channel has three modes. I did a video, I don't know, two years ago almost, year and a half, about the 410, the 100 watt amp, and you know, it, it's really good, it, it's a Marshall. And this is also like, you know, the my favorite channel for overdrive is the green channel, and I, it's pretty much set up like, I guess I don't really pay attention to the knobs, but you know, bass almost full, treble around two, mids around noon, volume almost full, gain full, like on 800, you know, to get that. And the, the master is full, <laughs> you know, crank to get the power to thing. So it's loud as F, but you know, with the reactive load and stuff, you can play at, you know, whatever volume. And then it has a resonance and presence knobs and a reverb, separate reverbs for both channels. And then there's a, also a series and parallel effect loop. I don't have anything in the loop. The effects on, on the song, the delay and the harmonizer in the, you know, B part, that was one guitar and, you know, I just spread it out with a Eventide H949 harmonizer plugin, a little bit soft tubes, JPEG echoes. The heavy rhythm guitars, there was a little tiny amount of Dimension D chorus in the, in the rhythm guitar stereo bus and those I doubled. And then the lead was just, you know, one guitar again with the harmonizer and the JPEG goes delay, and that was it. No EQ, nothing, everything was... But yeah, so let's check out the the different modes. Let's start from the, well actually from the overdrive channel, what I have. So it's pretty much like an, like an 800. So now I have SD on. And if I take it off, Okay, then let's check out how it compares to 800. This is the original from 985. This has EL34s also. It's, you know, stuck 800. So, first this one with a two screamer, the green channel, and then I'll switch into the 800. Yeah, they're quite close, but 800s have that that bark, and they they cut so well through the mix. I mean, this does too. So, and every tube, I mean, especially the old 800s, they are they are different. Mine, these two, they're really like aggressive and barky. But it's it's like you know, it's a JVM 800, and this is. JZM800. So there's a difference, but really, really close. I mean, there's a reason, I guess, why, you know, Marshall 
sells 800s because only JVM 800 can do JVM 800 and only JVM can do JVM. So yeah, a little bit different but in the same ballpark. Cool. Now let's check out the the other modes this has. They have tons of gain. I, I didn't really found any use because so much gain. Even though I backed this up, it's and this is kind of cool. It's it's a little bit more aggressive. No overdrive, nothing. A little bit more metallic. Now if I add the SD. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, if you like to play without any overdrives in front, then I think this works pretty well, you know, just without anything. Again, tons of gain, now the gain is in two. And the red mode. <laughs> Lots of gain. I don't know why why this much gain is even an option because I mean <laughs> it's just you know it's didn't even yeah okay well th those are the channels and let's go back to the green one you know game full like on 800 of preamp yeah th this is f really familiar to me and with the SD So, you know, pretty, the EQ actually does something, because on the 800 it really don't do much. <laughs> so, but again, the switch spots, and, well, they are there where they were, you know, years. Okay, then let's check out the, the clean slash crunch channel. I take the SD off, and I actually, let me tune this. Now it's a standard E. thing it's it's yeah let's compare it to real plexi I think better than what it does, what it does Jay-Z Mehdandri. I mean, I have, well, everything is cranked, you know, so, uh, except the tone controls. It's really, you get this, there's the, the vibe. This is, let's start the plexi.
I mean, yeah, Plexi has that car again, but, but this is, I think it's, it's a different Plexi tone. And again, you know, only Plexi can do Plexi, only JVM can do JVM, you know, but in the same ballpark. Let's try something else, uh, the clean, clean channel. You kind of said the EQ quite differently because it was really. Pff. Let's add chorus. Let's compare it to 2000. This is probably my, my favorite clean tone of all time. I've used this on a couple of latest albums, you know, my solo and my Red Wolf. My other favorite is the Boogie's clean tone. This is it's so good. So, uh, where did I have that? Yes, there. Songs I play that probably one of the best songs in the world, you know, Freebird. Yeah, okay, let's compare this. close. I mean, this is a 100 watt, the bigger transformers, more tubes, it's a bit fuller sound, like, you know, always, but to me it's pretty much the, the same. So really good uh, clean tone, okay, then let's orange mode, chorus off. Yeah, the red mode is kind of like a crank plexi, what I have, have here. I mean, it's not crank, everything is around two, except the loudness two, I blend it in just a little bit. And the green is like clean, and then this is, the orange is... It's like... A little bit like JTM style, this kind of fat and bold. Maybe when I don't crank the plex, let's see. It's just like a JDM45 or, or if you dial the some, you know, volume back from, from the Plexi. Really cool, all modes, really, I like them. Okay, let's, let's try the, the reverb, what it does. Let me make sure I have the correct amp, yeah.
really good reverb. It's not mushing the tone, but it's kind of like at like room vibe. I like it a lot. And you know, you can program this this MIDI stuff, two master volumes, lots of different options. Conclusion. You know, it's a Marshall. You you can't go wrong. At least I can't go wrong with a Marshall. And Les Paul and Super Overdrive. Great collection of different Marshall tones throughout the years. The clean, cleanest mode reminds me a lot of a uh, 2000s clean channel, which is my favorite clean tone of, of Marshall amps. The Silver Jubilee has pretty good too, also quite the quite the same. The orange mode in that JDM 45 territory, a little bit softer. The red mode is kind of like a cranked plexi aggressive this and then the overdrive channel the green mode is it's kind of like a 800 and then the orange and red ones they are just you know high gain modes actually really similar to what the the lead well that's actually now we're talking the the lead channel on on uh, 2000 so uh, what do I have here? Boogie? No, boogie. It says boogie here, but it's this. SD off. The, the lead channel, the red and the red on the JVM, they're really close. Let, let me check out the orange. Yeah, the orange mode is really close to the, the, the crunch mode of a GSL, which is also quite close to, to 800. So yeah, the the crunch mode, the, the orange mode on this one is actually really cool also when you, you know, just dial back the gain. All right, <laughs> conclusion now. Great amp, I must say, really versatile, all the classic, you know, martial tones, but if you want to have a plexitone, real plexitone, only plexi can do it. Only JZ Mainhardy can do JZ Mainhardy. Only JSL can do JSL. Only JVM can do JVM. So, but anyway, great amp, lots of options. Yeah, I like it.
which is probably not a surprise since I have a few Marshalls. It's my, they are my favorite amps of all time, especially the 800 and the Plexi. <laughs> okay, hey, thanks for watching. All the best. See you on the next one. Bye.